Hi, welcome for our online training sessions, online training and placement. Uh, in this session today, I just wanted to explain one interview question and answer how we have to go for it. Uh, actually, it is a technical question, but still they may ask us uh, uh, even functional consultant also because it's a simple, but we must be uh, very confident about explaining. The question was like, uh, do you know which table contains the social security number and what is the column name? What is the column name? And after that, can you go ahead uh, for writing a simple query to get person number, person name, and his social security number? So I just need uh, three columns. Can you start write the query on that? That's the question they have asked me. So uh, generally what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead with our uh, person number, right? So person number means uh, we'll go for Paral people up. Paral people F. Yeah. Okay. So this table we know very well, right? PPF dot person number equal to let's say 101. We'll take a person number as 101. Paral people F dot full name. Sorry, person number. So we'll get a person number here. Right. And uh, let me just, we'll take one example here uh, for searching. So go to person management because we are supposed to test the query result, right? Uh, that's why we'll take one sample person number here. Let me go ahead with person number as 101. Okay. So I'm going ahead with 101 and then let's go for a diagram here. Go for it. This is our person number. Then we require failed to save means uh, we have to refresh the page. Let me refresh the page. Maybe we have logged with another login or uh, refresh not done so long time that might be the reason. Okay. Just go ahead with this here. Now we got person number here. That's fine. Next, I need person name. That's fine. Person name, I, I think I already made a simple video on this for person names. Underscore F. PP and yeah, we can give any alias name, but for easy understanding, we'll take the starting name of the score for all people of dot person ID equal to then uh, PPNF dot person ID. That's fine, person ID. And we'll be getting here uh, person name, right? PPNF dot full name. Full name, I'm going to get it. It's nothing but a person name. Right. So we got, but whenever we are dealing with the names, uh, we are supposed to write another where clause, right? Is it global name or uh, local? PPNF dot name underscore type equal to global. Otherwise, what happened? We'll be getting the duplicate records, right? We'll be getting duplicate records. Then there is another table, personal national identifier so now we'll just check this query first invalid table name per person names comma we kept it comma that's the problem and now i'm able to find this result person number and we got person name then what we required we need social security number for this employee we need social security number here, right? For this employee, if we want to know what is the national identification number, go to person tab here, then we can find that here, social security number, right? That's the national identifier. So this national identifier information will be maintained in another table, in another table. So what's the table name here? We are going to write 
this table. Then go for edit, comma, and then use this. This is the table per national edit, PNI. How we will go for join this table? We'll go for use the person ID, right? And what is our main table for all people left? That's the main table. Dot, what is the primary key? Obviously, person ID, right? Person ID equal to PNI dot. Person ID. Right. So then we can get PNI dot. I required social security number, right? For example, you don't have an idea about the column name. So you can get dot star. Dot star means from that table, we will get all the columns because I'm not able to rec re remember the column name. So what we can do, table name dot star. Then you can see national identifier type, SSN nothing but social security number, national identifier number, national identifier number. And now we can remove this dot star. This is national identifier number. And then PNI dot national identifier type that we are going to select. Press OK. Missing expression, comma. We have given this comma in select class. Right. Now we'll be able to find this. Click view button. Now we can find. Person number 101, Curtis VT, national identifier type is SSN. SSN stands for social security number. And this is the table. This is the, sorry, this is the format. Okay. So whenever uh, they ask for the question, this, this explanation is required. So even though we are a technical consultant, obviously, if you say I'm a HCM technical consultant, these all tables and uh, primary foreign keys always must be on our fingertips. That's required. But when it comes for functional, it may not be expected, but uh, obviously, uh, especially uh, sometimes they will be asking. It's better to start improving our uh, important tables. We don't need to worry about uh, all other tables. Uh, important tables, we can go through for it. Okay. So I'm going to keep this query in our channel. You can get in this. Thank you.